Welcome back to another day of cleaning. We are getting into the grind today. We have made a very big mess during this quarantine. We are all here all the time and we're leaving it all out. So I am taking a very brief break from the house projects and we are just gonna get everything in order. Before we jump into this video, if you could hit the subscribe button, like the video down below, and go over to turn your notifications on. We have a big, big project coming up and I am so excited for you guys to see it. I don't want you to miss it. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for a pretty big, gross grand finale. All right guys, I am starting in the easiest place because I need to build up some motivation for this clean and I can't find the basket that's normally here. Sometimes I put little baskets in each room to hold the random things like this purse. I don't know where I want to put this purse. So I put it in this basket. Basket. So like I said, I ended up starting with the easiest room, which is my oldest daughter's. I have a pretty good routine at night of tidying this room up, so there isn't a lot to do in here other than just picking up random things. I found so many books wedged between the wall and her bed because I give her one book every night as she's falling asleep. And apparently she just stuffs them down in the wall when she's done. And I didn't know that until now. Um, on this day, I also noticed that she had spilled some drink or something on her bed. I don't know what it was, so I took off the top and washed it. That's what I like about this bedding. And I put all of those books away. As you can see, our bookshelf is already getting really full and I'm needing some extra space for all the books that we have. A big theme that you'll see in this video is laundry, but I'm gonna come back to that later on day two. First, I wanted to tackle the girl's bathroom and it really just needed a good disinfecting. I know you're wondering about the trash bag in the shower and that is a bag of things I needed to take to Goodwill. But at the time I thought Goodwill was closed for donations, I found out later that you can still drop them off. So I was able to clean up the tub, get all their toys put away. And then I went back into the tub with some bleach some disinfecting. The tub wasn't really that dirty, but it's been a minute since I've actually just wiped it down. pretty much only used by our three-year-old who I would say is done with potty training but that doesn't mean that she doesn't make a mess. So I'm just wiping everything down from the week and giving the toilet a good scrub. After the adult toilet was clean, I took to the mini toilet that Emmy uses. This was definitely helpful in potty training, but I am ready to get rid of this toilet because I constantly have to wipe it down or empty it out, and I'm ready to only be cleaning the one toilet again. So while I was down there, I went ahead and scrubbed the rest of the floor down with the disinfectant. The place that gets the messiest and the most cluttered in our bathroom is always the sink area. Let me know if your kids are like this, but things just seem to pile up. Sippy cups, snack bowls, toothbrushes, anything that could land there and just stay out is always there, always getting cluttered up. So I took everything out and gave it a really good wipe down. The girls tend to make a mess when they're washing their hands or brushing their teeth. This is a good close up. I don't know what this ring is, but it happens probably every week in the bathroom. Kind of gross, just thought you'd want to see that.
All right, here's our before, what the bathroom was like, and our very sparkly clean after. And let me tell you, it smells so good in that bathroom. The next room that I am cleaning up right now, mostly just tidying up, is Charlie's room. This is my youngest daughter's room. And again, it's mostly just toys that are out in here, but I did end up wiping down um, the dresser where we change our diapers. back from a walk and I'm putting Charlie to bed right now so I'm just making up her bed for her. I wanted to show you the final after of this room before she got in bed. If you guys haven't seen my clean out of this closet, I will link it down below and right here. I could not clean this out at a more perfect time. We had our power go out the other night and I knew exactly where our like emergency flashlight was. And if I hadn't cleaned this closet out, I would have had no idea. We've been sitting in our basement in the dark. My phone was about to die. This is why cleaning is important. All right, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I've tried to clean this out since we've lived here, but it just could not get the mold out. So I bought these a fresh uh, little cleaning pods that are supposed to wash your washing machine. These were recommended to us. I will show you guys how it, you know, how it works out. The inside doesn't look really bad. It's really just in like here is where the mold gets so i'm curious like i've scrubbed this to death with bleach with whatever you name it so i'm curious if this will actually work on here we will pop one of these pods in and come back and look at it tonight and i'll link these down below too if you want to try them out i actually just noticed that our washing machine says clean washer with a fresh which is what i got and charlie got chocolate on our washing machine so i'm going to clean the outside of this later tonight too So while I am cleaning up our bedroom, I wanted to say a huge thank you for all the love and support on my last video, the master bedroom makeover and clean. If you missed it, I did a deep clean of our master bedroom. I organized it and I did a little bit of a makeover. So if you want to see an in-depth tour of the room and overall how it came together, I'll put a link to it down in the description. Normally in my cleaning videos, I would end with a vacuum, but since the girls are asleep up here, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm actually talking here and I'm saying what I'm saying now. I'm so, so grateful for all the love and the comments on that last video. I actually learned some things from you guys. I love when you guys comment down below on how you clean, what you use to clean, or maybe what I motivated you to clean. I'm so glad that you guys are getting something from these videos. So if you haven't left a comment down below, they totally make my day. And thank you guys so much.
All right, next up is the downstairs level. I'm trying to power clean it before my husband gets home. He's picking up dinner for us tonight. Really, the kitchen is the biggest mess. I cleaned this room up yesterday, at least over the weekend, and I really cleaned this area. So if you wanna see how I set up this area, if you're more interested in family vlogs and things like that, I have a family channel and I'll link that down below. This little area over here is a bench that my husband and I DIY built into our house. So I actually made these top pieces that I'm wiping down right now. I really, really wanted them to be a bright white, but I didn't know how to make that possible with fabric. So I actually covered them in a vinyl so that I would be able to wipe them down easily like this. And let me tell you, best decision I ever made. I am so glad that I did not go with the fabric. Taking a break for food. This is what the table looks like now. So first we're gonna clean our plates and then we'll clean the rest of the house. And that was my joke. You can have the joke if you clean the kitchen. You know what? They would love a guest star on this cleaning channel. Really? A guest, a guest clean. We can clean my face. All right, so dinner was done. The real hard work comes in now. This kitchen, the part that I was dreading, I guess. I kind of left it there all day knowing I was gonna make this video, but also kind of just avoiding it all day because you saw it. I did not want to <laughs> go there yet. While I'm cleaning out my dishwasher, I want to say a big hello to all the new faces that came over after my last video. If you liked that video, I wanted to let you know we have something even cooler coming up. If you see this kitchen, you can see that it is very outdated. Our home is a little over 20 year old builder grade home and this kitchen has been the same since it was built. If you're watching this video when I posted it, today is the day my husband and I are tackling this kitchen. If you wanna see this transformation, you need to hit subscribe and turn on your notification. We are painting the cabinets, tackling the countertops, the floor. We're doing a built-in on the other side, some floating shelves, and I'm telling you this is going to be an amazing transformation, so you don't wanna miss that. And we are doing it all ourselves on a budget. I'm so, so excited to share the whole process with you. That will probably be the next video on this channel. I'm usually using Mrs. Meyers products. There's a couple different times that I will use something else and I try to mention it. But if there's a product that you guys love, leave a comment down below. Here I wipe down the counters with the Mrs. Meyers peony scent. And like I said, it smells so good. It is my favorite spring smell. Here is a 
a gross close-up of our stovetop. My husband made chicken and you know when you make chicken and there's oil and it just gets everywhere, that's what happened here. So I always have to spray pretty much everything in that area to get it all off. Um, I like chicken, but it always kind of makes me dread it because of this factor. Even if we use the splash guard, this tends to happen. Everything was covered in oil and I went in with the, I think it's called Weedman's, I'm not sure the brand, let me see. So I don't do this very often, but I did go in with our glass top cleaner and let that sit on the stove top just for a little bit. I can try and link that down below, but it's the only one I've ever used and it's the only brand that I've ever seen anyone using for glass stove tops, so I would recommend it. are some spots that are stuck on the stovetop from before we ever owned this house that I've lost hope in ever being able to get them clean. I want to know the spot in your house that is the most commonly cluttered. We used to have a kitchen island in our old house and that just collected everything. All of the mail, all the keys, any miscellaneous objects. Now all we have is this little sidebar in our kitchen and it catches everything all day. It is always there every week being a mess. It's such a nice feeling going to bed with a clean kitchen to wake up to a clean kitchen. finish off this night I cleaned up our dining room just has a bunch of shoes there was a bunch of grass kind of tracked in because it's getting to be warmer days and that's what tends to happen in the summertime never clean at night so it's a really weird feeling and it might be a good idea to start doing that because there was no one behind me pulling out what I just put away we're gonna go upstairs now and check out the washing machine and see if it actually got clean or not we're both pretty skeptical about the door and the lid like the the rim of the washing machine no <laughs> the mole is still there but it's still oh, I don't know oh yeah it got like a lot of that's, hair out of it hold on I just sprayed this we're gonna see if it like might actually wipe the mold off. I'm not hopeful if it didn't come off with that. I don't feel like it's gonna come off now. Yeah. Doesn't seem, oh, I guess it's coming off a little bit. Okay, so if you guys have a front loader, what have you done and you have like an actual mold issue like this, what have you done to clean it and have you been able to get yours off? Let me know down below your tips on cleaning your front loaders like this and what if you actually found anything that works. There's a hairball, that's fun. Guys, it's the next morning. It's time to tackle the final place that I really need to clean up, which is the laundry. Taking this to get well, and again, clearing off what seems to always get cluttered, the top of our washer and dryer. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't 
Don't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know I don't know about you guys, but if I see a giant pile of laundry, I tend to do everything that I can to put off folding it and it ends up being a huge event like this day was. When I have a big pile like that, I start off by just sorting everything into each person's pile and then folding each individual pile. It seems to make the work go a little bit quicker. I don't know if it's the best method, but it's what I've been doing. And I noticed while I was editing this that I definitely got distracted from doing the laundry and started just doing any task that I saw near me and then going back to a pile of laundry. So if this doesn't make sense to you, it's because it doesn't make sense. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I And you can see that I was carrying my phone around with me and trying to watch something as I was folding to make it go a little bit faster. Comment down below your favorite show to watch while you're folding laundry, if that's what you do. If I let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Instagram this week, but if you ever see the top of our washer and dryer clean, that means a cleaning video is coming at you.
Okay, I've saved something exciting for the grand finale of this video, and that is the underneath of the couch. I've had to pick up some things from under there recently, and I know it's not pretty, so I'm gonna move the couch out. We've had our windows like sealed up with this plastic for the winter, so we can take all this down, clean this whole area. Let me turn this down so you can get the real grime effect of it. Ew, the dog hair, the Cheerios. A dinosaur? That's some nastiness. If you haven't already liked this video, I exposed myself and showed you our dirty secret of under the couch, how gross it gets back there. And if you have any tips on the moldy washer, leave them down below. We'd love to read those and try to figure out how we can better clean that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you're new. We have a very big, awesome kitchen makeover coming up that you don't wanna miss. So turn on your notification bell because that will be coming in the next week or so. All right guys, I hope you have a great week. Happy cleaning.